Guys, it's here. It's finally here. Yes, you have seen me did a testing video with the Roku TV. Then I tested it with my Wani portable DVD player, which is right there. And now, I'm doing it with the CRT TV now. So anyways, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. So on my next video, I'm going to do Sonic Watches the Nine Logos. So yeah, that's why I have... Sonic and Knuckles over there, so yeah. So anyways, let's get this started, shall we? So anyways, I'm going to be testing out five DVDs because, yeah, I'm going to be testing out five DVDs, so here are the DVDs. The Spongebob Movie Collection, because Blake and Super Bowser John like Spongebob. Freebirds, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Spider-Man 2, or should I say Spider-Man Da? And the Super Mario Brothers movie, because I like Super Mario, and I like Princess Peach. So, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to be testing out the Spongebob movie collection first, which has the Paramount DVD logo on it. So, yeah. I don't know why the discs are boring gray, but who cares? I'm going to be choosing the Spongebob Squarepants movie. And I heard that Blake actually has the Spongebob Squarepants movie on DVD. And he, and Super Bowser John actually has it too. Like me. Except I have the movie collection though. But I might plan to get a newer copy of the Spongebob Squarepants movie in the future. Sorry if you can hear some background noises. But I apologize for that. So yeah. I know you can hear it. It's just nothing to worry about. Okay, that was the Paramount DVD logo, but on the Sony DVD player from the CRT TV or VCR TV. Next up is Freebirds, which has the 20th Century Fox Entertainment logo, and my co copy actually shows it. Unlike Blake Hinson's copy. So yeah, so anyways, here's the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo, but on the Sony DVD player from the VCR TV slash CRT TV, so yeah. Once again, ignore the background noise. Okay, that was the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo, but on the CRT TV. Next DVD is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which has the Warner Home Video logo, and it has Willy Wonka saying, I do not, in the movie. And by the way, this is the widescreen version. Just want to let you know. But Super Bowser John has the full screen version. I might plan to get the full screen version. And hope and by the way, this is one of Super Bowser John's favorite movies. So yeah, it's also my, one of my favorite movies as well. Because he likes he likes Willy Wonka as his favorite. And by the way, just to let you know, his top favorite 2023 movie is actually Wonka, not gonna lie. My top 2023 movie is the Super Mario Bros. movie. That's the reason why I like Mario so much. So, yeah. And there's the FBI warning screen. I'm still going to show you the Warner Home Video logo. Okay, that was the Warner Home Video logo, but on the CRT TV and the Sony DVD player, or should I say the Sony DVD player, sorry about that. Next is Spider-Man 2, or should I say Spider-Man Da? <laughs> Very funny. DVD collection in a nutshell reference, or VHS, I think. Since this movie was actually released on VHS. 
It does have the Columbia TriStar Homer Team and logo, even though it's a Sony Pictures Homer Team and on the back. I don't know where the disc shows Spider Man's costume on it, but who cares? And by the way, I'm going to show you the proof that this actually plays it because when I tried it on the Wani portable DVD player, um, it wouldn't show it. For some reason. That's weird. It only shows it on this two, but not this one. But I actually tested it. It actually works. I'm going to show you proof that this one actually shows it. So anyways, here's the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo, but on the Sony DVD player from the VCR slash CRT TV. See? It actually shows it on this player. It also shows it on my Sanyo DVD player. Not gonna lie. By the way, I actually still have the Samsung DVD player, but except it's in the bottom drawer over there. Sorry if you could see plates. I think I might throw one of the trash out when I'm done making this video, maybe. So, yeah. Last but not least is the Super Mario Bros. movie because I like Mario so much and my favorite character is Princess Peach. So yeah, that's one of my favorite female video game characters of all time. And it does have the Universal 2012 logo on it. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know why the disc is red, but who cares about that? Uh, who cares about the disc? Uh, who cares? I thought I got it scratched. But anyways, here is the Universal 2012 logo, but on my Sony DVD player from the VCR slash CRT TV. Because I like Super Mario, so yeah. Might have to put it up closer. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted in this video, but I don't think I will, but just who cares about the theme of the Universal logo. Or at least the volume is not all, is kind of weird. Alright, that's pretty much it. Okay, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this video of testing out all of my DVDs on the Sony DVD player from the VCR TV. So anyways, if you have enjoyed this testing video, make sure to give a like, comment, share my videos, subscribe if you're new, and click the notification bell icon when, so you will get notified when I post more videos in the near future. So anyways, on my next video, I'm going to be uploading my Sonic Watches The Nine Logos remake as my St. Patrick's Day special. Because in three days, it's going to turn one year old on the original video. So anyways, peace out. And stay tuned for Sonic Watches The Nine Logos in the next video. So anyways, bye.